Alright. So where I gotta go, I gotta go back to the, what's the brand name? Young, young Master? Young Master. Wait, was it like a game shop? What is this place? Was it here? Was it here? Nah, it's like, it's right here. What's in here? Hey, is it like an arcade? Okay, okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Virtue Lighter 2.1 no easy to send to you. Yeah. Let's see what that's on. I'm trying to see what that's about. Sega. I ain't never played this. <laughs> It's like a it's like a knockoff Street Fighter mixed with a little bit of Tekken. Wait, I just inserted some coins. Wait, how do I insert coins? Oh, oh, I say, like, how you do that? I'm sitting here looking stupid. I ain't even try to even try to press the start button. It's like an actual game. Jeffrey McWild. Uh and Jackie Bryant. Lion. Uh, see who I want, bruh. He give me mate. Uh, I get pied in. What's good? What's good? What you, what you you trying to do what? What you trying to do? What you trying to do? Oh! Oh, that's how I fight. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez. Ooh, quit playing with me, man. Quit playing with me, man. Quit playing with me, loud. Quit playing with me. Uh, oh, yeah. Quit playing with me, man. Limp. Quit playing me. Well, she ain't trying to go against me. Oh, oh. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. Sarah, like she got, she got a couple hands. Ooh, ooh, she got me, she got me. Ooh, ooh, she do some damage too. Ooh, she do some damage. Oh, snap. <laughs> Get up off this, bro. How you get up off this jump, bro? <laughs> How did I get off the game? Uh, Star buttons? Nah, nah, that bit. Nah, I ain't want to start again. <laughs> I know the start button starts the game up again, but... Okay, that's a block. I see now. I ringed out. Who's in the arena? All right, bro. All right. All right. I'm about to, I'm about to get rid of this. Uh, 
get rid of this knockoff. Uh, what's the bro name from Dragon Ball, bro? Who, who's wearing the little uh, visor, the little Cybernet visor? <laughs> he lost to Goku. And, I can't remember his name, bro. I refuse to lose to a man like that, though. Oh, here she go. Mm. All right. <laughs> All right, bro. Ooh, grab. Yeah, I can't let her win that back to back. Nah. That outfit he's got on is horrible though. My man's wearing jean shorts with a vest, a swim vest jacket. Ooh. Ah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, but she really got me with the ring out. No, I don't want to continue. No, nah, we just that trash, bro. This is what it is, what it is, bro. But seriously, though, how do you get about this? Can you certain no coins in, bro? Oh, wow. All right, bro. I knew I wasn't tripping, bro, and I was like, I was. Trying to touch the touchpad earlier and ain't do nothing, bro. But now I was not touching now. It's like I can quit. Yeah, give me out of this mini game. I don't got wood twice. I'm gonna keep getting wood over and over. Cheating. You got a job to do. Hey, yo, taxi. Oh yeah, let me get there. And West Philadelphia, born and raised. Where is he? Hey, miss! Where's the young miss? I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. Sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? Did you forget what day it is? Uh, of course not. It's Yumino san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this, you did it. Did you? Of course not. If he asked where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 
you the master? I'm fine. We're almost there. Wait, don't go in yet. Duck in here for a sec. Huh? Um, okay. Ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, Ephel? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how? How did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Huh? None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. You're a fucking wuss. Masato-san? Oh my goodness! Are you all better? I can't believe it! Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry, I'll be nice. Bruh. Hmm? So Bo just juiced himself up and was 
but I'm assuming steroids in this boy now nah, son walking. You tell me ain't nobody just questioning that, but okay. No. Bruh, don't worry about it. Don't uh. ask all those questions, but you oh. Yo. Oh my goodness, bro. He want to be that way. I tell you what. So I got to go in here. I got to find her. How am I supposed to know what she... I don't even know what she looks like. Oh my, bro. This is gonna be endless. Obviously, so where is she? Oh, well, there we go. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, uh, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichan, what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. is this i'd ask you the same you're the one being unreasonable what I, I have reasons so shut up this is ludicrous ludo what use some normal ass words you said you'd be civil you're causing a scene you moron sorry please excuse my companion here he's usually better behaved I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like, and don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. Accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about... thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already?
Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday, Yumino-san. Such fancy drinks, Yumino-san. You spoil us. Thank you. Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute. I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato-san. Eichi, show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so... Just do it! <laughs> Sorry! I know it's not much. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I, I mean his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> what? No, it's just... <laughs> My mother has the exact same one! <laughs> huh? Hey, come on. <laughs> the name Ichiban means the best. But I guess there's no accounting for taste. We should start calling him Ichi Bad. Am I right? <laughs> Masato-san, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. My girl, I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How, how much was it? About the price of a condo. A high-end one, not just some dump, of course. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I be at the front for a moment? <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, uh, we'd have to ask you, you know. Oh, she'd kill us for sure! But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. I think I had one too many. Some wingman I am. Horino Uchi-san, wait! Please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. 
Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So? You could turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later. Young master, how long have you been there? Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Let that be a valuable lesson, kiddos. Money cannot buy love. Sure, it can make someone feel like they in love with you, but it ain't gonna never be genuine. As we all saw, at the end of the day, there's always a shadow under the light. Or should I say, the, the mass. Yeah, that's a pretty good quote. But anyways, I gotta go meet a old dude, you know, bro walking now, so I'm not like I gotta push him everywhere, feel me? I don't know how long that drug gonna last, though. Hope it lasts long enough for him to get home. Or his ass gonna be on the ground somewhere. I mean, it ain't gonna be my fault. Oh, yeah. What, bro? What you say, bro? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What you, what you want? Oh, God, you ain't trying to... Man, yeah, go play on me. Yeah, mm, out of my face, bro. They really thought they gonna shoot their ones with me. They, mm, they got the game being backwards, bro. Ain't nothing soft around here on me. All right, bro. What you want, bro? Alright bro, let's go. Yeah, feel me. Yeah, whoop on them, bro. What's wrong with them, bro? Oh, here we go. What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that. Uh, I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I see. And that debt we bought? 
Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. All the money's there, including interest. Uh -huh. Wow, excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? <laughs> this bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? There is no real story. The young master gave that to me. I swear. He gave it to you. Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg. I have too much pride to pull something like that. Pride when you can't earn for the family. <sighs> What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know pain. <clears throat> Not for a yakuza anyway. A yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey, bring me the knife. wrong. You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. <laughs> if you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Ichi, walk with me. Uh, uh, yes, sir. <sighs> boss, you saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? I don't know. He hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that. But it's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry, party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu. And some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? Fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. 
That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You've probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Going silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was, I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh... He had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. <gasps> the boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, but he was never found. That's what for Akane and me, for bringing shame to the patriarch. <sighs> to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Akane? Hello? Where are you? I thought they caught you. blend into the crowd. Honestly, they're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. What for a baby in a locker? What are you saying? I, I don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry! Put the baby in a locker! Oh, 
okay? Take good care of Emma. I can eat. Hey, there she is. That's her. Go, go, go. Hey! Hockeney! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! Shit! This is my child. rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Oh. A few days later, the patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Wait, did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. But there is something I've always wanted to tell you. Even if only by oath, I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. Seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? What could that be? Oh, gyoza! 
No, not Yoza. Peking Duck. Duck? Is that even edible? Mm-hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep. But I wonder if we can find it in Kamurocho. There's got to be a place serving it somewhere. All right. Man, it's like these cutscenes are really like movie scenes, honestly. I'd just be sitting back chilling, yo. For sure. But anyways, let's just go find this king's place that sells duck. I ain't never ate duck a day in my life, and I don't think I ever will. Let's <laughs> just put that out there for the people. Uh, let's put that out there. I don't think I will ever eat duck. Unless I ate it and not even realized it. I go in here? Oh, I can't go in there. Oh, yeah, my health kind of low, too. Oh, that's right, because I fought on dudes early. If you might have give them that to put the whoop on them real quick. Okay, I'm level three though. Hold on, let me stop in the um, stop in the shop real quick. Let me let me uh. Yeah, let me get some of that. All right. All right, you know I'll be back soon. Go, let's go. Hey, the city really detailed. No lie. I don't know what city I'm in though. In, in Yakuza 7 though. I'm guessing Tokyo? Possibly? Oh no, it says right there though. Is it like Kuro, Kuma Roach? I'm not gonna mess that up. <laughs> I feel like that's disrespectful to me. So I'm not gonna butcher that. You gotta see it on the bottom left though. Let's eat. Seriously? Hey, you guys open? We need to get the cake up. Relax, Chibang. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home waiting to bring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it, though. <laughs> Another time. I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. <laughs> that duck got lucky today, but he won't get away from us next time. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two. Ichiban, what have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit, I know. Right. Reputation is everything for our Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. <laughs> 